All right, let's talk about tertian harmony and spelling the four foundational chord types of major, minor, diminished, and augmented. So we're going to build a major triad, build a minor triad, build a diminished triad, and build an augmented triad. And we're going to more clearly define what each of those are. All right. A third is, um, is a distance between, between two notes. Let's say if we start here on this, on this D. Do, Re, Mi. Okay, so that is a major third. It's the same uh, third that would happen in a major scale. That's a major third. Or the distance of two whole tones, right? Okay, that's a major third. A minor third would lower that by a semitone, a distance of a tone and a semitone. All right, so the minor third would sound like this. And a minor third would be, uh, would be the, the, the beginning of a minor scale. A major third would be the beginning of a major scale. Okay, so in terms of visually speaking on the guitar fretboard, um, a major third is going to look like this. When you get to the different tuning at strings two and three, it's going to look like this because we have to compensate for that different tuning on, of the B string. All right, and then we get back to the top. So these are each major thirds. And to make each of those harmonic minor thirds, minor thirds played together, not melodically. All right, so those are minor thirds. Now, each of these chords is a combination of a major third and a minor third. Okay, so let's, uh, or, or, uh, or two minor thirds or two major thirds. Okay, and let, so let's dig into that a little bit. Let's start on that D again. So here's the major third. And from the third, we, we do uh, we we we, we uh, construct another third and in this case it's going to be the minor third which looks like this and sounds like this so a major triad a major triad in root position is made up of a major third and a minor third you put those together We can do that. Let's do that here. Here's the major third. And then from here to here, because of the tuning on the second string, is a minor third. Let's do, do that one more time. From here to here, because of the tuning on the second string, is a major third. And then from here to here, it's a minor third. Now let's change each of those chords to a minor chord. We take the major third and make it a minor third. And to spell a minor chord, a minor chord in root position, it's a minor third plus a major third. We put those together. Right? Minor third plus a major third. Minor third plus a major third. Minor chord minor chord and minor chord 
Ooh. So a major chord in root position with a root naming note in the lowest voice is a major third plus a minor third. A minor chord is a minor third plus a major third. And then when we get to a diminished chord, a diminished chord, the minor third is a smaller distance, right? The minor third is only a tone and a semitone. Right? So when we take two minor chords, we take two of the smaller intervals and we put them together and we end up with, you know, in this sort of piano voicing is not exactly. There is a diminished chord, right? And then we go, we could go to here, a minor chord, a minor a third. And then from here to here, we want another minor third. And then we, from, from the uh, uh, C, we do a minor third, keeping in mind the tuning on that second string. And then the minor third on top. So each of those being now I'm not suggesting that each one of these is going to be a super practical chord, you know, for you to play. Uh, but the point is that this is the way chords chords are spelled. Uh, okay, so the diminished chord is smaller. That's why it's called diminished. It's two smaller intervals stacked on top of each other. Minor third plus a minor third. The augmented chord is an, a major third plus another major third. And, you, and so the, the, those intervals are larger, right? Each one is a semitone larger. And so it's augmented, bigger. There's one, here's another. Right, and here's another. Right, so um, now that is, uh, you know, some some theory fundamentals put right down on the guitar fretboard, right? So you'll have to understand how your guitar is tuned. It's tuned in fourths on the bottom four strings, and then and then is a is a third uh, uh, when you get to uh, the uh, the G to the to the B to the second string, right? The, the major third, and then we have another fourth on top. That's the first thing to understand. Then there's two different types of thirds, a major third and a minor third. And, and those are uh, uh, used in combination to form the four major or fundamental, I should say, chord types, which are major, minor, diminished, and augmented experiment with that like naturally we can this can become more complex when you add a fourth note to each of these chords right and uh and th 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 that's when it uh, when it gets um, you know complex and and lovely okay uh so there you go chord spelling on the fretboard work on the fretboard think on the fretboard um make sure you understand what it means what intervals are and what they mean and how they can function to build chords. All right, thanks. See you.